12 hours on the road, five, five, a hundred fifty dollars a pump. So uh, DC locked me in the truck. I feel it coming on. Can you smell it? Can you smell it in the air, baby? Low humidity. <laughs> humidity. <laughs> Let's redo that. Low humidity. Okay. What's that movie? Uh, it's heavyweights. Heck, it. it is heavyweights. Mm -hmm. Can you smell it? Mmm. Can you smell it? Oh, I forgot what he smelled. What was that? I feel like an idiot right now. He said, You're talking about Ben Stiller. Yeah, Ben Stiller. He said, Can you smell it? Can you smell it? What? No. no. There's a life force in here tonight. <laughs> Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Low humidity. Welcome back to the channel at the gas pump again. So we're gonna document this today. How many times we're gonna to take to get gas, the gas prices, we're documenting them. This is the biggest hype now. I literally need an app on my phone for gas prices. Cause you go to one exit, it's like 429. You go to another exit, 368, which is still high as a giraffe. Uh, welcome back to the channel. This is Travel Vlog. We are leaving Minnesota. We are now in Wisconsin and we are like skirting around one of the Great Lakes. Forgot what Great Lake it is. The furthest one west. Yes. <laughs> We're going around Ontario. We're going to go through Chicago. Need a few bulletproof vests. We can't put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> We're going through Chicago in a minute. We'll catch y'all in a few minutes. I got to get this gas. Dogging it, Pat. Don't act like you haven't seen that. I know you have. Heavyweights, baby. If you pan the camera to your mm, southeast, you see Chi Town. Chi Town, Chi Town. I'm not from here, so I don't really know. This is uh, the beautiful city of Chicago. Has a glorious mayor. From what I tell, I don't really know. Y'all comment below, I have no clue. This is the great city of Chicago. There's a, if you zoom in right there, there's a half built skyscraper. They probably run out of money and they just left it like that. They do the business in the bottom. They got a rooftop penthouse up there with no windows on it. They ran out of cheese. <laughs> Gas price is too damn high to run the crane to get everything up there. I mean, sometimes it bees like that half-built skyscrapers Chicago we're rolling through here in traffic we just happened to bust off through here at 246 on a Monday and it's still blowed out it's kind of like Atlanta you roll through Atlanta on Sunday evening when everybody should be sitting around their house with their family drinking an ice-cold lemon tea whatever lemon tea is <laughs> but you go through Atlanta and it's like blowed out 24 7. it does not matter on sunday morning at 9 a.m blowed out sunday at 3 p.m i'm thinking of a less busy time i went through there at 3 a.m and it's low-key blowed out kind of just like this it just has it, it is there's there's a good sign built to be badass oak point whatever that is so hey quick uh fun fact this is a fun fact for you too, Brett. All right. Did you know, it, now this is statistically proven, near bigger cities, the temperature is a few degrees warmer. Did you know I, that? I did know that. You did know that? Yeah. Damn, I thought I, thought I told you something that you no. didn't know. Well, why is that though? Is it because of all the concrete? I think it's because of all the concrete. And it just radiates heat. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I think I think it's all the concrete, and I think it's all the windows. Yeah. From 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 all the all the buildings, mm -hmm. and then and probably all the cars. You think it's because a lot of people are up here breathing? They're breathing that hot breath out too. There's a lot of hot air in this city, for real. Did you know 
why Chicago is called the Windy City. I thought that was Detroit. No, no. Chicago is the Windy City. It's not because of the wind. No, it's because of all the wind from the politicians. They blow in that wind. They blow in that hot air. Is that's, that what it's called? That really is the Windy that's City. That's factual. That is factual. It's not. It has nothing to do with wind. Well, we have learned something. Chicago, welcome to it. The best thing about Chicago is that big old Great Lake over there with them big smile jaws in it that nobody around here fishes for. Unbelievable. If I was here, I promise you, I bet they're catching the smallies. And if you take a left and go right up through there, you're going to run into Sturgeon's Bay, as Mark will call it. Sturgeon's Bay. Not Sturgeon. And you can catch some big dummy smallmouths up there. So we're not headed there. We're headed south. And then we're going to go due east. Go through Cleveland. We're going to keep on trucking. We got about 10 more hours. Y'all join us. Insane. It blows my mind. Twenty-seven dollars to drive down this road for the truck. Ha! Maybe I can buy some more police force. Oh boy. He said, yeah, I was in here, I just felt it. Man, 27.80 to get down this crappy road. Man, this is a great service plaza right here. They've got four pumps. Are you kidding me? All right, guys, so we'll give you all a quick update. We're at a service plaza off of the Turnpike in Ohio. And FYI, if you're from like this northern Erie area, so Indiana Turnpike, Ohio Turnpike, if I've never drove my boat through there before, unbelievable $28 to pull your boat and truck through a toll booth okay I went through like three of them and like I went and got what's this guy doing okay we're in good shape <laughs> I went and got uh, some culvers we stopped and got some culvers and I was like man I'm gonna give me something to eat I'm, I'm pretty hungry slid off the interstate if you get off of this turnpike it's $28 it does not matter where you go need gas you got to go by service plaza well guess what service plaza has four pumps unbelievable and we're trying to upload this video right here so we got this video um about shoal bass and brett's over here editing the video we were trying to get out another video for y'all and somehow youtube is not uploading it and they're not wanting to do the hd so we already got it posted over here um i don't know when this video is going to post but y'all need to go back and check out the shoal bass world class fish video yeah hmm? we yeah. uploaded it three times today we uploaded it three times today so brett's been over here just working like a little busy bee and i've been over here driving for 12 and a half hours we just knocked down a three hour and 34 minute flight time um and guess what we still got six hours to go i'm freaking believable i'm done Somebody drive me. Somebody. I'm hiring drivers. Who wants to drive? Anybody want to drive? What, what stop is this, by the way? Is this gas stop? This is number five. Five. Yeah. Gas stop five. Twelve hours on the road, five, five stops for gas. A hundred and fifty dollars a pump.
So uh, DC locked me in the truck and he went to use the bathroom and I was trying to get out to throw trash away. And I set the alarm off. So I guess I'm stuck in the truck because I'm sure if I try to open it again, it's going to go off. You locked me in. That locked you in? I was trying to get out the trash. I had to wait on it to quit. Unbelievable. <laughs> nasal sprays baby always have your spray got to be locked up <sighs> all right holiday in i'm gonna give you a shout out very superb brand new in erie pennsylvania Y'all still charge us $159 to stay there last night, but my stuff didn't get broke into. Um, I feel really good about it. Holiday Inn, always solid. Hilton Garden Inn, solid. Those are all, are them all Hilton? No, uh, Holiday Inn is not Hilton. Holiday Inn is Holiday Inn. It's like IHG yeah, or something, something like that. that. I, don't know. I don't really know. Sure there's some places out here where they get grouped up. I just haven't found them. I don't know if I gotta get up on top of the grass. I'm, I'm eight minutes away. There's some bass in here. I'm not gonna eat great big ones yet, but Sounds good. I'll be at the boat ramp in ten minutes. Okay. Oh, right, I'll see you in a minute. Nice. Bye. Give y'all a little quick update. We are now we have entered the chat we have entered the state of new york here we are we're actually rolled over to this little lake uh honey oi i have no clue about honey oi honey honey honeycomb cereal i i have no clue honey oi i didn't even know bass lived in here i'm sure they do apparently jacob he's caught a few out here so jacob drove up he launched at this little boat ramp down here in the south end Never seen the place before. We're about to get out here and do us a little fishing challenge. I love beating up on Jacob when I can. It's kind of hard to do at times. I mean, he knows how to catch a few bass. So we're going to meet up with him. We're about to go in here and uh, grab some toilet paper because my stomach's boiling because I ate a uh, hamburger and hamburgers ain't good for you. You got too much grease in them. So we're going to get toilet paper and uh, that's the most important thing today. So I will be back. Unreal. Unbelievable. All right, so back to the update. Let me give y'all a quick update. Bow! Back to an update. So we go, we launch the boat. Try to launch the boat over there at the boat ramp. And Honey O. Honey. What's the name of that cereal? Honey. Uh, honey Nut Cheerio. Honey Nut Cheerio Lake. Log on to New York website to get a fishing license. A license to go and ang like. Go cast your line out and reel a fish in. Still my mind blown you gotta do that. Because if not, they'll throw you underneath the jail way worse than anything. Any kind of conservation like that, you gotta have it. Try to get a license. They misspelled my name in their system. I didn't misspell my name. So I log in and they say your password, everything's completely wrong. I cannot log in. Try to create a new login. This email has already been used. Oh, no wonder, because it's mine. But I can't log in because they misspelled my name. So, anyway. And then we try to call them, try to fix the problem. Look, we've been on the phone for 39 minutes. You want to hear what they're talking about? Yeah. Here's what they're talking about. No. Remain on the line, and someone will be with you shortly. All right. Oh, one of them for the state. Dang! Look at that playground. All right. Hey. Forty minutes. We're not going bass fishing with Jacob because we can't. Because it's not legal. It's 
So we're going to Walmart to get a license. We're going to show you all a bass before this video ends. That's my goal, okay? Y'all stay tuned with us. Jonathan, you are see how may I help you? Um, yes. My name is Dustin Connell. I am trying to purchase a license, a fishing license. It will not let me log into my account. I put in my date of birth, driver's license, everything. And I don't know why, but it has my name misspelled. I think that might be the problem. I don't know. Looks like I actually have three accounts for you. So I'm gonna get these merged together. Um, and we're gonna get all of their information updated. Here. Perfect, that request was processed successfully, so you are gonna receive an email receipt for your purchase. I'm also emailing you your digital copy of your annual non-resident fishing license that is valid starting today. All right, well thank you so much. You're very welcome. You should have that in your email now, so you are all set to go fishing. Dustin, it was a pleasure speaking with you, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Well, we won the damn battle. Boom. You did not get us. We did catch you slipping on lunch, though, because you was eight minutes late. She, she noticed she called, she answered the phone at like 108? 103, yes. 103? We were on hold for, it was uh, 48 minutes. 48 minutes on hold. Unbelievable, she answered the phone. We won the battle. We saved uh, a lot of time. So now we're going to probably just go launch the boat over here and go fish. So, uh, for, for everyone wondering why we were going to Walmart and I was still on the phone with them, I wasn't going to lose that. I, I, we're not losing that battle. I, I can't let them win. No, you're not gonna let us sit there and let me wait, waste my time. If you waste 20 minutes of my time, you might well waste 45 minutes. That's right, that's I'm, way I'm in too now. long anyway. I'm in now. It's almost like playing blackjack. I sit down at the blackjack table. If you're gonna take 100, you might as well take 200. And then, if you've already taken 200, you done pissed me off enough to lose 400. So, whatever cash I got in my pocket, take it. If you want it and you need it that bad, just take it. Get the lights. Like, I hope them lights are way brighter than what they was when I walked in here because y'all got a raggedy hotel anyway. So I'm going to hate on your hotel because you took my money. You're legal now, though. I'm legal now, though. Sure. And I dare somebody pull me over and be like, license and registration. I don't have a license. Oh, sir, put your hands behind your back. No, nope. let me open up my email because I just sat on the phone with y'all for 52 minutes. <laughs> Ding. And this is 25 minutes away. We've got to drive back around the lake. So I'm thinking we either need to go to Skinny Atlas. Trying to find somewhere to go bass fishing, bro. Well, I like how you just look in the camera, though. You're sitting here, what? I don't know if it'll make the video, but it cracks me up when I'm editing it. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Pet Detective. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We're, we're completely getting sidetracked. We're supposed to be finding a place to fish. Making sure you're looking into the camera. Oh, this is, this is <laughs> the dolphin tank. <laughs> it's the dolphin tank. I got, got you, you this year. <laughs> this is me. Alright, let's go find somewhere to fish, man. Damn. <laughs> oh, we have really got sidetracked. This this drive has made us a little bit loony. Loony. Loser. Loser. Skin to tellies. Skinny Atlas. We've been to like three different lakes. Yeah, all right, so anyway, here we go. <laughs> Pour the water now. <laughs> we got a fishing license. We're back, we're back. We do it all for y'all, we do it all for y'all. If you haven't done it, come. Oh, there's a little bit of grass out here. If you haven't done it yet, like and subscribe on our channel. We really need some help on that. 
We need some comments. We need some comments. Y'all get, get our stuff popping a little bit for us. But I've been on this lake before, the Skinny Atlas, and uh, there's a lot of smallmouth here. And, you know, you want to go somewhere really like similar to where you're fishing at. I really like going to like, I would love to go to Onondaga or wherever that has grass, because Cayuga is going to be kind of a grass deal. Which this lake has grass, but it's predominantly like smallmouth, I feel like. Now, you might go down here and get large mouth, but I don't know. I'm going to, uh, I just got tired of driving. This was the nearest place to where our house was at, and I said, I've been in this truck for two daggum long. So we're going to go out here and set the hook a little bit, fish for a few hours before it gets dark, call it good. <laughs> first cast, BB. You didn't even give me time to set up a GoPro. Uh oh, first cast, we're on that smallmouth bag. <laughs> ah, welcome to New York, baby. Got on a little smallmouth little bag right there, BB. Oh, there's a million of them right out here. Let me tell you something. This new active target is humble. I mean, this, I say this new active target. This active target is. If I would have had this a long time ago, I mean, you just look at that big rock right there. Look, there's like two big rocks right there. Look at them sitting on the edge of it. Y'all watch it go down. Ready? Right, my bait's about to go down. Right, there goes my bait. There goes my bait. And here comes some smallmouth. And there it goes. Is that not crazy? I mean, un. Believable. Oh, I'm a little chunky boy, too, man. Go on, get up on the man. Get on, get on, get Two casts, two bass. I won't make a cast today without catching one. Not many times you can do that, but in New York, the great state of New York, not New York City, but New York. You can do that. You can do that. Be up here on on a biggin. Then got B on a biggin. Oh, the biggest one of his life. Is that the biggest one? No, you no, caught one the bigger. One, the one at, at Wilson. At, at Pitwick, at yeah. Wilson. Yeah, yeah. But that's your first New Yorker. Oh, my first New Yorker is a biggin. She good. Look at that sucker down there. Y'all look right here. We done drove 20 hours, baby. Let's freaking go. Baby, yeah, they get on that bait, baby. Right, let's go charge the batteries, go to the house, get 
check in and feel good about it. There's not a single lot. Nowhere. Yo. Are you at the house yet? Not yet, no. I'm All just right. rolling up here right now. I'm sitting in the driveway. I'm making sure this is it. It's kind of a packed out place, but when you pull in, pull in that grass right here. I got this guy. I see you. I see you. I see you. This is the address right here. See my phone? Till you gray in the beard. No, I, I'm not with that. I'll leave no, it just takes too damn long. long. It just Dude, takes I too long. I've never finished a game of Monopoly in my life. Ever. It's always like, okay, you hey, win. I've tried Monopoly. Have you have you finished the game? Yeah, the only reason is because I quit. <laughs> <laughs> we played one time where every time you land on somewhere, it's double the fee. So you're going through there, and it's like, oh, he landed on park place. So, so you never it's really double the fee. So you never did actually legitimately like finish it if you would have normal rules. We tried our best to finish it. If he, it, so well, you I tried to bankrupt everybody. You doubled the fee, and you still didn't finish it. No. Because <laughs> what would happen is I land on my buddy's thing, and I owe him twelve hundred dollars. They go around somebody land on something. It's twelve hundred dollars. Like twelve hundred dollars, twelve hundred dollars, twelve hundred dollars. And then everybody would just pass go, and I'm like, God dang it, never's gonna end. <laughs> Bankrupt us. We got the right president and everything. Bankrupt somebody. Oh God. Hey. I'm with <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't feel bad. I tell you that. We are on a heated hey, vibe. I'm about to say, low key, we underneath the shade tree. We're on a shade tree. We got these sun shirts on. We're in. So, so, hey, so. But, but but I love New York though, because there's one thing that's about to go down in New York. Whenever we get here, bass. two things. Bass about to get caught. But what species? Large mouth or small mouth? Both. That's what I was looking for. Both. 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 Hey, I know y'all been seeing my boy Shannon Sharp. Capital B. O A A hey, my boy wow L. F both. both like a loaf of bread but with a B. Yeah. Both. <laughs> he killed my soul. Both of them gonna get caught this week. Wait, what you doing with this, Brian? 
Oh man, you ain't seen You nothing. don't even throw crankbaits, DC. I don't even throw crankbaits. What you doing? I got crankbaits. Hey, you gotta watch DC, man. He's, he think he's slick, bro. I see. Uh, I got crankbaits. He got crankbaits, crank man. Baits. I got all, all of a sudden he throw, now he a, he a cranker. No, I, I, I'm gonna throw him like three times. If, I, if they bite him, I'm gonna throw him though. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pan around, pan around. I'm gonna see a big wad of walleye. And I'm gonna say, I bet you'll eat that plug. And I'm gonna track him all the way through the walleye. And I'm gonna lock up and I'll put him right back down. He a walleye catcher. Hey, DC gonna pan until his grass break, bro. Pan yeah, for gold. Is that pan for gold. I'm trying to pan it. Let's see, but look. Hey, Mark, you got sunscreen in your boat? The motor guy? Sun, you got sunscreen in your boat, Mark? Jacob's asking me about sunscreen, bro. I am sunscreen, bro. You see, no, you man. See, hey, you see this melanin, bro? I'm just saying, if you just... Hell no, I ain't got I no sunscreen, sunscreen, man. I'm just making sure. Jacob gonna ask me, gonna ask hey, a black man hey, if he got some sunscreen. You got sunscreen. Columbia PFG on. Yeah, you know why? I got 50 me. FPF hey, in this cause thing. Cause they paying me for it. FPF. Hey, I drink it and they paying me for it. What is it? SPF. Uh, SPF? I don't even know what it is. I call it SPF. <laughs> <laughs> Sun, Sun. You definitely need some sunscreen with me, Performance. Meanwhile, protect. I'm going to take my shirt off, man. Well, yeah. We, we, I, I don't take no, my shirt off. You know what our thing is? We don't want to be five different colors. We ain't, we ain't fooling with that. Right. That farmer tan, bro. Yeah. We out on that. That's why a lot of black folks don't wear flip flops, right? But me being an outdoorsman, Brett, go and zoom in on this one time, B. I'm an outdoorsman, so I rock with the flippies, right? But check this out. This is this what we don't fool with. We don't fool with that. See, we ain't trying to walk around like that. Uh uh. We want to be one color. Yeah. Me, I'm like four tone. Yeah. But I could do that, though. I'm, yeah. I'm different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm different. It's the same stuff, though. It is. It's the same different outfit, J Dub. Hey, let's battle out. Look, see, look. Oh, yeah. Yo, I ain't got you because you wear flippies every day. I got something for y'all. It's all the same. Yeah, you, you dark though for a white dude. Jet up. I know. Check this tan out. Hey. That's that shoe God. tan, bro. Oh. <laughs> you see the toes? I wouldn't even stay close to that, man. Big dog. Back out, Mark. Mark. <laughs> Back up. Oh, oh, I got a... oh, oh. <laughs> Hold on. Is there a difference? <laughs> I'm going to start, start calling him powder. Powder. Look, this is, this is a foot, and that's DC foot. Oh. <laughs> I wear them teenies. <laughs> oh I wear them teenies. Hey, but I pull with, with the shoes too, though. Check this out, though. I can wear them flip flops. They don't have very good back. Like they ain't got support. Support no. right here, and it hurts my knees. But and you know my what? Legs. Hey, I took. A, I'm flat footed. I took a trick out of Otter's book, though. I'm flat footed too. When you get on a boat, bro, you just pop them boys off and be fishing. I got a hook in my. Uh, yeah, hey, look you at this. Yeah, you're right, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, got you a can. hook in my. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how the pliers is up in there? Oh, Damn. Oh, that's where All right, let's go. Mm, three eight. I've been looking for them. That's the ones I was needing right there, baby. All right, guys, we're gonna close this video out. This video was a little bit longer than normal, okay? But it was a daggum long trip. I can just tell you that it was a long trip. So we're finally here in New York beautiful weather's beautiful summertime still kind of hot but it's low humidity that's the thing about new york versus alabama if you're in the deep south right now you in bad bad humidity so anyway we're gonna close this out i'm gonna tie on some baits practice starts tomorrow morning okay so um we're probably gonna do a practice video for this deal because we got two days we may not, I don't really know, depending on practice, but I'm rigging up a lot of spinning rods. I got a lot of 7.2 hexes up here. I got flipping sticks, jerk bait rods, you name it. I got everything. I got swim baits tied on, crank baits. That's the thing about this tournament. This is very unique, and this is a very important tournament for us, okay? So we, we need to do really good in this tournament. I love fishing up north, and uh, there's gonna be smallmouth and largemouth caught, so we got to have both sides of it figured out. Looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all like, subscribe for us, and I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you. Peace.